Today I'm going to be showing you how to use HippoConnect Lite for iPhone. Okay, go to the App Store, then type in your search. No, it's hard to do. Hippo, not hippie. Hippo Lite. Okay, then download it. Okay, then while that's downloading, go to your computer and go to Safari and type in Hippo Remote Light. Okay, then click Hippo Remote Light, of course, and then click Setup at the top and then click whatever version you're running I'm running the latest version of Mac OS X so I'm just gonna click this okay then click on this uh, gray box here and it's gonna end up in your downloads right here okay then I like to do is I like to drag it over here and make it no drag it over here oh never mind. And then open it. Click open. Okay, then click off. I don't know why it does this. It's, I think it's just a bug. And then type in your password to your computer if you have any. Okay, then click it back on. Okay, then set a password, okay? Because remember this because you're going to be needing it for your phone. I'm just going to set a password. It's going to be fire because it's really simple and easy and nobody guesses it. Okay, then type in the password to your computer. Which my password to my computer is fire. Which is, you know, weird, but whatever. Then you go to your iPhone and you click on the app. Okay. Then these things should pop up right here. My computer's name is David. Okay. The password that you set, which is fire, which I set is fire, is going to be the password to this thing and then there you go I am controlling my screen with my phone which is kinda cool I think and then if you really want to um, if you're like far away distance and you log into your computer and you have to like type a password or you're on Google and you have to type in something you could go trackpad and keyboard and then just type in whatever here let me get to my search engine real quick and then see you can type in whatever you want in the search engine and it comes up there which I think is pretty cool so yeah that's about it